Welcome MES students and happy spring. I have another 518 rainbow hunt challenge for you. I am all ready to go. I have my rainbow t-shirt on today. This week's challenge four will be to make a lantern. Not just any lantern. We are going to create a paper rainbow lantern. Well, first let me share with you some history about paper lanterns. They are associated with festivals all around the world, and they are very common even in the United States. Washington, Utah have some great festivals. Each festival has special meanings, and some places in the United States gather and write special messages on lanterns and they celebrate by placing them in the water. So let's take a look. Here are some lanterns, paper lanterns, placed in the water at a festival. And you can see they have special messages on them. So this one says, love, family, and friends. And the boy's holding his lantern. It's on a piece of wood and he has a special message written on the paper. All right, the messages bring hope to the communities and this is what gave me the inspiration to make rainbow lanterns. Water lantern festivals are filled with fun and a lot of happiness, hope, and they bring great memories. It's a really good way for friends and families and neighbors to come together in their community. So that's why I decided to create this paper lantern and make it a rainbow. So if you would like, you can go to waterlanternfestival.com and you can actually pick the state that you would like to get some information on their festival so you would go there and watch a video and it's a great way to um, uh, for something to share with your family all right it's a must so you, i think there's several there's probably over 50 different states that uh, have festivals in their communities i myself love the festive paper lantern and the colors when it hangs from the ceiling. I've done a few of these projects inside my house or outside um, my house or even put it in the window. And best of all, this paper lantern can be made by just items that you find around your house, all right? So we're ready to make rainbow lanterns of your own and the materials you're going to need today, you are going to need scissors, a pipe cleaner or a string, that would be fine. A ruler or a straight edge and a stapler. The other thing, if you have the color of the rainbow uh, paper strips laying around, you can um, use those. Or if you do not have construction paper of the colors of the rainbow, you can also just paint a sheet of paper, one and a half by eight and a half, and you can cut these strips out, all right? Or you could just use this paper and fold it to create your lantern. All these steps are on my PowerPoint, um, step by step on how to create and make the lantern. All right, so the other thing you need is a white sheet of paper and a glue stick. This is good just in case some of the pieces of paper pop up, you can glue them back down. All right, so let's get started. I have my white sheet of paper. It's an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And the first thing I wanna do is take a ruler and measure one and a half and cut one and a half off of my paper. And I'm going to put that aside. All right, next, I am going to take my paper strips and remember the colors of the rainbow. All right, you have that pink, the indigo, the blue, green, orange, yellow, and red. 
or like I said, you can paint too. Or you can, if you don't have paint, you can even take markers or crayons and color strips, one and a half by eight and a half strips, and then use that on a white sheet of paper. So what I did here was I cut my strips and I glued them on a white, a white sheet of paper, all right, all my color strips. I am going to lay that down so I can see the white. I can do two ways. I'm going to lay it down and then I'm going to fold it in half, meet my corners, and I'm going to draw with my ruler around an inch, seven lines. Okay? After I do that, I'm going to cut. Now, Mrs. Ordino is just going to cut the paper so you can get started on your lantern. But when I cut, the fold, here's the fold, should be facing me. Okay? I'm not going to draw my lines. So I'm going to cut seven slits. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. When I cut, remember not to cut straight through. All right, you wanna stop probably around an inch to the edge of your paper. Now, you will notice that Mrs. Ordino did not make any lines on the inside of the paper. I just started to cut. All right, you can do that but you may want to also practice a lantern just with white paper, and that's what I did here. This is what our lantern's going to look like. So it's a good idea to practice it on white paper or any color paper to practice before you go and use your color strips or rainbow colors. Make sure you have all the steps in place. All right, so after I've done that, you can see how it opens. And again, make sure when you start cutting, the fold is at is towards you. I'm going to open it up, and you can see where all my oops, sorry, flip it around, where all my slits are. Now I'm going to turn it and roll it. You may need somebody to help you do this. I'm going to take a stapler, and I'm going to. Whoops, it would help if my stapler worked here. Hold on. You can also tape it too if you'd like, if you don't have a stapler. All right, I'm going to staple one end, flip it around, staple the other end. And right here where it's opened, I may want to add a little bit of glue. Get this open. Or you can add some tape. All right, just to stick that in there. Stick that right to the other side so it stays. Okay, so here's my lantern. There we go. Now, remember that white sheet of paper that we cut earlier? The eight and a half by 11, we took a, 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 a one and a half inch off. I'm going to now take this and roll it. And this needs to fit inside of my lantern. So I need to make sure when I'm rolling it, it fits, okay? I'm gonna roll it up and I'm going to staple that too. Again, you may need somebody to help you. And if you don't have a stapler, that is fine. You can tape it. All right, so this is a key to the lantern because this is going to squish the lantern, the pieces of paper, and make the lantern look a little bit more realistic. So I'm gonna place that in the center. All right, see how I did that? And I'm gonna stop it right at the top and I'm gonna hold it right there and staple the inside piece to my outside lantern. And I'm gonna flip it around and I'm going to push down all the ways down till I get, till I meet the top of that white piece of paper I placed in there. And I am going to staple again. And there is my lantern. One more step. I need to get it to hang in the window or somewhere special in my house. So I'm going to take a pencil, all right, and I'm going to just pop 
two holes on each side. Pop through, okay? And then I'm going to take my pipe cleaner or you can get a piece of string and push the pipe cleaner through each side of my holes there. Okay, and I have my paper lantern. So now I can hang my paper rainbow lantern from my window so others can see and you can do the same thing and your community can see the colorful festive rainbow art. So find that special rainbow in your day and look forward to bringing to you challenge five next week. Bye.